Hello, in this lecture, we will be creating the statement of revenues, expenditures, and changes in fund balance. Last time we took this information, we put that information into the journal entries. We used those journal entries to post to a worksheet so that we had our beginning trial balance, posted those adjustments, then had the ending trial balance. We then used that ending trial balance to create the financial statement of the statement of revenues, expenditures, and changes in fund balance, uh, balance budget versus actual budget and actual. And now we're going to take this information and create this statement of revenues, expenditures, and uh, changes in fund balance. We're going to start with the revenue, and uh, it's going to be a similar format to basically the revenue that we created here in the statement of revenues, expenditures, and changes in fund balance. And we're going to be starting with this number here. So we're looking into this number, the revenue number. And if we look at what is included in that number, we have these items that uh, are going to be included. And so we can look into those and see how to create this number. We're going to start by uh, listing the revenue types. So in order to do that, I'm going to say that equals and go over to our data over here. And we're basically looking for the list in terms of uh, taxes and property. Uh, interest so I'm just gonna take that from this data here and say enter and highlight that and copy that down so that we have that I'm gonna put up one more so we should have taxes and property interest and penalties uh, license and permits fines uh, uh, intergovernmental and changes for services or charges for services so I'm gonna highlight this and indent that home tab and we'll go to the alignment group and indent and then we're going to go into the enter column remember this doesn't represent debits and credits but just that we're going to put the data on the inner column sum it up to the outer column and i'm going to say that this equals and i'm going to scroll back over here and see what was included in that number so the first one is going to be from uh, g2 and that's going to be this item here and enter so that is a negative. I'm going to make it a positive by double clicking on it, going in front and flipping the sign. So I'll put a negative in front of it, flipping the sign. Then we're going to do the same thing for interest and penalties. So again, that's going to be grouped into that number. We need to find where it was broken out for interest and penalties, which is going to be this 3000 in G10. So I'm going to say that equals. I'm going to scroll back up here and put a negative in front of that negative. And then the next item is license and permits. So I'm going to say this equals, and we'll scroll over to the items for the license and permits. I'm going to scroll down, and that's going to be this 240,526. And we're going to say that enters. And then we're looking for fines and forfeitures. Fines and forfeitures equals. I'm going to scroll back over, looking for fines and forfeitures from the data. And that's. It's going to be this uh, 164, uh, 264. And of course, this data is coming from uh, G4. So it's making up this number here. So we're pulling out, breaking that number out, getting this data from there. So there we have that. And then we have the intergovernmental revenue. So that's, I'm going to say the intergovernmental revenue equals. And scrolling over to the same item uh, in g4 so we're looking for the uh, intergovernmental items so that's going to be here the 64,000, and we're going to add that to that this item here this 46,000 in g7 again that's going to be part of the number that we looked at here that made up part of this number on the trial balance now i want to add these two together the, the 64,000 and the 46,000. therefore i'm going to say minus this number and in essence, it's saying this number, 46,000, plus, a, you know, minus a negative, which is plus the 46,000. So 64,000 plus 46,000, which gives us the 110,000. And then the last item changes in service charges equals, and we will scroll back over to that same area. And we have the service charges, 92,728. Uh, so there is that item. Then we can sum that up. I'm going to sum it up to the outside, the right-hand column, and that's going to be the total revenue. So total revenue, revenues. I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to go to the Home tab, Alignment, Indent two times, put in the outer column, equals SUM, and sum up this column like so. All right, and then I'm going to go here. We're going to go to the Home tab, Alignment, Underline, and then in AC15 home tab uh, font, 
double underline. So those are the revenues, and now we're gonna look at, look at the expenditures. So we have the expenditures, and we're gonna start from uh, the, the items that we're gonna be looking at. I'm gonna unhighlight these, and we are looking for, I'm gonna make that green, we have found that now, and we're looking for the expenditures, which will be this number here. So we're looking into this number in terms of total. So I'm gonna highlight that and make it yellow. What is included in that number if we select this item? We're saying that these uh, are the entries that are included in the expenditures number. So in order to get the names, I'm going to put my cursor in AA17 equals and scroll over. And we're looking for these types of names, the general, the public safety, public works, and culture and recreation. So I'm just going to say enter and then copy those items down. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then I'm going to go to the home tab alignment and indent the indenting there now to make up these uh, numbers again we're, we're looking at uh, this expenditures item here in order to see what's in that number so I scrolled back over in uh, a B 17 in the general government we're gonna say this equals and I'm gonna scroll back over to the data we're looking for the information that is from G5 and G6 and that's gonna be this 207 uh, 209 plus and we're going to say the uh, expenditures here the 37 9 10 the expenditures not the encumbrances and that's going to give us the uh, 245 119 same thing here for the public safety I'm going to say equals scroll back over to the data within G5 and G6 and I'm going to take this 496 979 plus this 70,162 uh, and enter and that's going to give us this 567141. And then in the public works, I'm going to say this equals scroll back over to the information over here. We're looking at public works, this uh, 235579 plus the public works down here, the uh, 77763 and enter. And that'll give us the 313342. And then we've got the culture and recreation equals scrolling back over culture and recreations the 115 115 522 plus the 43 275 and enter and there we have that information and we can sum that up in the outer column equals the sum of these items and the name will then be the total expenditures and i'm going to highlight that we're going to go to the home tab and indent that one more time and then we're going to say, what's the, the uh, total revenues minus the expenditures? Change in uh, fund balance. That's what we're going to call it. Rather than, of course, uh, net income, as we would see in a uh, for-profit organization, we're going to say the items in the outer column, then the revenue minus the expenditures. And notice the formatting here, of course. We don't really jump from column to column. We're just doing one, one thing, one column at a time. This being the outer column at this point in time. We're going to do some formatting here. We're going to go to this item, home tab, font, and underline that. Then we're going to go over here and go to the home tab, font, and underline that. And then the last item that we're going to have, we're going to basically do the same thing we did down here in that we're going to put the equity section in, in here and, and get the ending uh, equity balance section or the fund the fund balance section of and, and tie it all out in that way so we're going to have the fund balance for the january 1st and obviously when i use the term equity section that's more of a public accounting term so we're talking about assets minus liabilities the fund balance here so the fund balance we're going to say in terms of the accounting equation assets minus the liabilities giving us that fund balance the beginning numbers are going to be these numbers here if we highlight those the uh, 453,123. So I'm going to put that over here with a formula. I want it to be a positive number, so I'm going to use the negative sum function and pick those numbers up. I'm going to scroll back over here. I'm looking for these numbers here. So scrolling down and enter. That's the 453,123. And that'll give us the ending fund balance for December 31st. And we should be able to sum that up. So I'm going to say this equals the sum of these two items here. The change, which is kind of like the net income or comparable to the net income for a for-profit and the fund balances as of January 1st, should give us the ending number, 
the fund balance December 31st. We can check that number by highlighting all the blue areas, which are the fund balance areas. And that gives us the uh, 463, 333, as well as the assets minus the liability equaling the fund balance of 463, 333, as is done here with all the blue accounts there. And now we can just clean it up with the formatting. So we're going to go to this cell in AC23, home uh, font underline, and then underneath that home font double underline. And there we have that. So that's going to be the uh, statement of revenues and expenditures and changes in uh, fund balance for the general fund.